creative what's up it's your girl jamala and welcome back to my laboratory today i'm going to show you the easiest way for you to create chip bag mock-ups no photoshop or any other complicated software needed you can also check out my tutorial on t-shirt and tumblr mock-ups as well everything you need will be listed below in the description box of this video and if you like this video you learned something new make sure you give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and make sure that bell notification is on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials all right creative so to start off we're going to be in canva.com okay so once you're in the canva home screen like this i want you to go over here to where it says app And now we're going to, um, under apps, where it says recommended, we're going to hit smart mockups. So to find this mockup, it's kind of tricky, okay? So just bear with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to packaging, and you're going to hit beverages. And then you're going to scroll all the way down, like literally all the way to the bottom. And for this, you do need a Canva Pro account. And of course, I'll have a free 30-day Canva Pro trial for you in the description box. So we're just going to keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling all the way to the bottom. Okay, so finally, when you finally reach the bottom, right? When you reach the bottom, this is what it should look like. So we're just going to scroll up just a little bit. And we're just going to click this right here. Either one of these. One of these bag looking things, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and click it. So this one isn't the one we want to use. I mean, you can use this for something else, but this isn't the one we want to use. We want to just scroll down and it says similar to this template. Here goes our chip bags. So this one requires a Canva Pro account, but the side view is free. So, I mean, you can still access this if you don't have a Canva Pro account, but believe me, Canva Pro is so worth it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click the chip bag. And then you're just going to go ahead and upload your design. Okay, so I know everybody has to like, you know, customize these chip bags for different occasions. But of course, this is a great way to send a mock-up to your customer for approval before you actually send it. You know, it's a great way to help them get a visual of what it actually look like. Um, this is a great way to go ahead and if you have an Etsy shop or a website, whatever, display what you can do you know and give people a great visual of what it would look like so once you have this you're just going to go ahead and hit select and you're going to upload your image right so i'm going to go to my uploads um here it is right here so i did one and two so i have the front and then i did a design for the back of course so you can basically give them a 360 view right so I'm just going to go ahead and take the image that I uploaded, hit select. So it's going to go like this, but of course we can hit adjust image and we can just zoom in. If needed, you know, make whatever adjustments you need to make. Design I used for my son when he turned 10, like this is actually what his chip bags look like. Okay, so this is it. And then you're just going to go ahead and hit save mock-up. And I do have a tutorial on how to create these chip bags. It is a little bit older, but I'll just go ahead and link it for you. It'll pop up on this video. Um, if I should do an updated one, let me know in the comments. But um, I th it's, it's still beneficial for you to go ahead and watch it. Um, so we have that one and now we can just go ahead and basically do the same thing again, right? I'm going to go ahead and delete that picture. And so I can upload the picture of the back. I'm going to do the same thing. Hit adjust image. 
and just kind of zoom in, you know, like show them like the barcode or, you know, whatnot. When you're actually designing this, it would be probably better to d design it in eight and a half by 11 versus, you know, when you actually print chip bags, you go uh, horizontal, but design is vertically. So when you're uploading it, you can get everything you want in the image for the mockups. Okay. And of course, I'm just going to go ahead and save mockup again. download or I can even just up oh, where it says save mockup I could go ahead and hit use in a design let's or I can even just up oh, where it says save mockup I could go ahead and hit use in a design let's do let's just say Instagram post So there it's loaded. It's already loaded in my Canva for me. And of course I can go over to my downloads and bring the first one that we downloaded into the account as well. Then, I mean, you can change the background color of this if you wanted to. Um, maybe black. Make that a little bit bigger. Or, of course, you can go over to elements and find some kind of background. Maybe like a counter. Let me just type in counter. Mm-hmm, this will work. Or, hold on, maybe this one? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> so I'm going to hit replace background. I'm going to delete this. And then just, you know, act like I'm just sitting it on the counter. And it has a little shadow right there, but of course you can go to edit photos. And do the shadows um create another shadow you know you could just kind of edit it a little bit so yeah and then i mean you can go ahead and send this to your customer you know and be like hey you know here's your mock-up this is what it would look like or this would be a great thumbnail for you know people to order it just gives them a really great idea of what they'll actually be receiving now how easy was this how easy was this? Literally, it was so easy. Not complicated at all, okay? I think the hardest part is actually just finding the mock-up because it's a little weird. But there is another way for you to go ahead and access this mock-up as well. So using this mock-up, we obviously use the app Smart Mock-ups, right? So Smart Mock-ups and Canva actually work together. So Smart Mock-ups is its own website. So you can actually go to smartmockups.com. You could go to packaging, hit uh, beverages. No, I'm sorry. Packaging, hit food. And there go the chip bags right there. Okay. So this side view one is free. But if you wanted these two, you do need a pro account. And from my understanding, I just signed up for a free trial. It's free for seven days. Um, that'll be linked for you in the description box as well. But from my understanding, so it's like a free seven day trial, but it's $14 a month and you get access to, you know, all of these. Awesome. They have a lot of great mockups on this website. Okay. So um, if you wanted to, we could just go ahead and you, it's pretty much the same process as uploading from Canva to here, but you do, there is a little more customization available on this website. So let's see, let me just go ahead and upload my image. I can do the same process, upload the image. Then I'll go ahead and um, edit it where you can zoom in or whatnot. You know, I can crop what needs to be cropped or, you know, make whatever necessary adjustments there is. Hit crop and continue. 
or so once we do that we can just go over to customize and right here for color scheme this is where you get a little bit more options right we so right now we have it on this is matte so if you wanted to show them that it'd be glossy you can go over here and click glossy and this is like some aluminum like foil type look so you can click that and you know if you're using some kind of special material or whatnot you know isn't that cool that that's super cool so um here's the glossy and you know here's the matte of course so just a little bit more customization with the smart mockups website versus canva but hey they both get the job done Okay, so whichever way you feel works for you, go for it. All right, and then you'll just go ahead and download that, save it to your computer. So that is it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you learned something new, please give your girl a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.